And here we go with your comments once again. I don't know why I'm in the middle. Why am I all the way over there? Yeah, I shouldn't be over there. Okay. Uh, we are at our last section of this marathon. This is by, by far the longest video I have ever made. Oh, it was light when I started. And now it's definitely dark <laughs> outside. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at your comments this week. I have been very, very, very much looking forward to some of these comments. Let's go ahead and highlight there. Ah, this one. This one's from a video I did, which was uh, about the Boy Scouts last week, the Boy Scout bankruptcy that they're going through. And I was looking at it saying, hey, too bad someone didn't call this. Hint, hint. When I left the Boy Scouts, I definitely let them know that this was where they were heading, but they did not want to listen. Oh, well, say the way. Oh, he said, they say that it's too bad. I learned so much during the, I'm sorry, I've been, it's been a long day. I've learned so much being a Boy Scout as a youngster. Never would have climbed a mountain or learned to make a fire with two sticks. Actually, well, you could use two sticks, but long story. Um, <laughs> and... Oh, two sticks in my bare hand. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I just thought that was another break in there. And my bare hands. That's something else. No, two sticks, bare hand. Yes, you could do that. You could. It's a pain in the rear end, but I've done it. It's a bear and a half. Sadly, a few bad apples. I forgot to censor that. It up, <laughs> up the bunch. Yes, yes, you're right. What really happened with the Boy Scouts was the upper ups got scared that some of their... Um, financial supporters were pulling and folded to the leftist movement, the LGBTQ silent FU. Um, and once they smelled blood, they came back and back and back and back. And before long, the Boy Scouts no longer looked like the Boy Scouts. They were the Scouts, Boy Scouts of America, which was a really weird choice of renaming, but it was all going downhill after that point anyway sadly i loved being a boy scout i really loved when i was a scout i it was even better when i was a scout master it was great um we had a great crew of guys um as far as boys go oh my gosh some of the best boys i've ever met were there they were seriously i put it in the description of the, the video but they some of those boys i would be very proud to follow some of those I would definitely they turned into such leaders such great leaders and I've really been blessed just to be part of their lives to really just be there and watch them grow and yeah I guess I had my small part I did in it but in the end they were amazing amazing I remember one time in um considering one of the scout stories there's so many great scout stories but one of them that sticks out to me the most is we were camping at a college campus and it was not a good um, camp out. Um, not because of any one of the boys, but because of the weather. It was horrible there. It was raining. It was hail was coming down. It was raining. Um, the wind was whipping left and right. It was horrible. And here I am with these scouts. We're trying to cook lunch because we have to cook it out in the parking lot because they don't want to any fires on the grounds. So I'm out there cooking with the scouts and they're trying to cook on this propane stove while this wind is ripping around and rain coming down and starting to hail. And we're just holding down um, this tarp over our fire over our stove just to keep it from um flinging away and the rain hitting the fire and putting everything out and in the middle of this why we're all holding on to this um tarp and just pinning it down um the fire goes out the fire goes out in the middle of this um i guess one gust got through and got to the fire and it all went out and the propane's there it's going off and they can't find the lighter so one of our scouts looks at our uh, the um, SPL and says, 
Where's Lighter? He's left cheek, left cheek. That's right after the um, Transformers movie. I about lost it. And it's a quote from the Transformers movie, and I about lost it. It was hilarious. We're all there holding it down. He grabs it, lights up the fire. The fire goes. We all have lunch, and oh my gosh, we worked our butts off. It was a pain. It was miserable. It was cold. It was hailing. But by far, I will always remember and cherish doing that with those boys. Absolutely. Uh, another time we. I just sat down one time and they were doing, um, this was summer camp and throwing out the summer camp, you're supposed to have something pioneering about your campsite. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall. So we got big, huge logs. There are a bunch of uh, old trees that have fallen down. So we started taking these big, huge logs. And I just started myself, just started doing this myself. And then I got one of the older boys came back to camp. And I roped him into it. <clears throat> and to start making this big, big wall. I mean, it's, it's eight feet high. Just a bunch of um, logs held together by rope. But it's about eight feet high between these two um, trees. So I start doing that, start getting going, get him roped into it. Then get a couple of other boys as they came back. And then I went and took off, went and took a shower. Because the point is for the, at least the concept of the time was that the, the scoutmasters aren't supposed to do everything. It's actually boys that are supposed to do it. So I got started, and then I left it to them. And they took it from that and made a huge wall that crossed the entire thing, and it was beautiful. I wish I still... I wish I knew where that picture was to show it to you guys, but I don't remember where I stored that. But yeah, there were some amazing times of scouts, and that was fun. That was amazingly fun. Uh, if you guys have ever been in scouting or gone out camping or had amazing camp stories, put it in the description below and I pull those up next week when I do my next uh, comment spotlight. Number two, awesome content. This was on um, one of the videos. I think it was last week. I forget. It was one of the videos last week. This really st it stuck out to me just because it's you know i don't get that many really nice comments i get a lot more you idiot or you don't have the right to talk about that because you're not an expert in the field you have to have a certain degree in order for me to respect this oh this was on um hypocrisy in the church that's where this comment came from so next one Everything is on purpose, breaking down the American white Christians. Sick. I'm not sure what they were necessarily talking about in this. I'm not sure if they were referring to this. I'm not sure. If they, this was, again, um, this is actually on the Boy Scout one. I'm not sure if they are doing this as far as being serious, that they believe that they should be uh, white Christians who founded this nation who put up the walls who even the concept of um inalienable human rights is something that's christian based and does not work without christianity at its foundation really doesn't um that whole thing if they're saying that that thing needs to be torn down i don't agree with you um, Christianity gave us our current level of science. It gave us um, amazing architecture throughout Europe. It did do some bad. Definitely, um, during some sections, it did do some bad. It also defended um, New Christ uh, Christendom against the invasion of the the Muslim barbarians who were trying to take over, who even went as far as northern Spain at one point. We were able to repel them, and if we didn't, then we would have definitely had a scientific and um, just a breakdown of the advances we had. We would not have come nearly as far if the Muslim hordes would have invaded um all of Europe really would not have. And the Crusades were in direct um, were because of 
the Muslim aggression that they saw that we were seeing in that case next one okay this is greed's kills i use a lot of greed's kills um comments on this just because he seems to comment the most so if you comment the most we'll, we'll see what happens um it is terrible to watch the good things oh this was from again the boy scout one um that teach children to be decent men or women be destroyed it is all being replaced with the likes of black eh. oh yeah the drag queen hour of veiled filth oh yes oh that drag queen hour oh my gosh uh concept still not right in any way shape or form no one with a clear conscience can look at that saying that that's not good that's creepy why are full grown men sex is sexually basically um taking young children just uh, 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 don't i would not recommend looking that stuff up okay um this was from one of the is um videos i did about sharia law and women uh women are slaves in islam yes women are treated as nothing more than property i know that there was definitely for a while and i think there still is a movement that says that muhammad was the first feminist ever um no <laughs> no he beat his wives he had sex slaves that were women he did a bunch of crap um he said women were half intelligent as men um women were the main contributors in hell because of their insufficiencies mental insufficiencies um that they were incapable um ton of stuff just and yet i don't understand why the left can say that they align with islam it makes no sense they is by far the worst bedmates you can imagine and number six greed kills again <laughs> again no yes um why would anyone need to explain oh be an expert to determine ge transgender is straight out of satan straight from satan yeah that is in response to this one here which i did last time on um, my highlights last week so you have no right to talk about transgender you're not a doctor nor an expert in this topic as if i need to be in order to know this and three kills is right this i don't have to have a degree to know when something is bullcrap i don't have to have a degree to know when something is nothing but garbage i don't need it i have common sense i have intelligence something many people seem to be lacking nowadays i think i had one more oh this one is just for funny this one i like ending these um comments on something funny and i just got this actually right before i streamed i just got this comment just finished reading this excellent book now i have not read this i've just read a little bit um at least heard the audible clip of it um i don't have enough faith to be an atheist and i thought that was such a good title i'm like yes you get it you get the concept that it takes more faith to say that there is no creator than it takes to believe that there is a creator because it's just such a small minute possibility in fact i'll leave this in the description below um about this um video i did on how how i just annihilated everything else and just went through and logically thought it and it thought of every possible concept of how the world could come into being and how 
This made no sense if it was such a small chance that this could have happened without a creator, and it just made it so much easier. So much easier, so much more sense. Once you add in a creator. And then I go from there and I extrapolate how I found Christ as being through this creation. <coughs> How once you realize this universe and how this universe works and how it's logical and how everything makes sense, that then a logical God has to be part of it. And I'll leave that in the description because I'm not going to rehash the entire video. But I do so love that video. That was one of my favorite ones to make. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And let's go ahead and say goodnight finally on this one.